Hello, it's Nicholas Webb again, and here I'm talking about um, some more toys. Well, these really aren't toys per se. Uh, well, honestly, they are. Um, but I've shown that I had the Zero from Mega Man Zero version, of, I think. I might have not posted that video, I don't remember. <laughs> anyway, this one is I did a. Th these are model kits. The nice thing about the model kits is you spend time and you can make them. And it just, it, it, it's, you know, two, three hours of labor, and you get this very accurate, very um, solid figure. The Zero One, I had one problem where the, the, sh the sheet of yellow plastic was, yeah, I believe it was the sheet of yellow plastic was brittle. So something was wrong with the actual mixture, which, wouldn't matter that much except for one little factor. His ponytail. Zero, the zero ponytail just snapped. And then of course that's one of the major big problems with action figures of zero. That ponytail does not stick around. So anyway, here I have my two figures. Never got Proto Man because, I don't know, Proto Man he was okay. Never really a big fan of him. He was cool looking, but he was essentially a recolored Mega Man, um, design-wise, I and mean, he was about the same, and they never really, um, made him make much sense, you know, like, he, he was kind of thrown in there, he was a neat character, but not a big deal, so anyway, um, now I like I like them still, but I'm just not not enough to spend the money. I might get them eventually, get the, the model kit eventually, because honestly I enjoy making these. It's fun. Um, now the roll one was neat that it came with with two versions. You can make her where she looks like her Mega Man Eight incarnation, or her Mega Man like one and the eight bit era one, and eight bit and sixteen bit. I prefer the 8-bit one because it looks more complete, like, you know, she's, I don't know, it looks more like she has something on, you know, not, rather than those silly dresses without any pockets. Um, the roll figure, though, I remember when I got it, um, the white sheet, I discovered there was one little thing that I did not expect. So, thinking back on what I know about Japanese um, culture, I probably should have expected it. She has, she, they sculpted in panties. Why would they do that? But, it's, I, honestly, it's because in um, Marvel vs. Capcom and, and games like that, she's, she flashes them every once in a while. So, that's silly. I don't know, I just noticed you can see my paper craft roll in the background. And it's seen better days. It was nice, though. You gotta love roll in all our forms. I'm not a big fan of the EXE one, but oh, but I like this roll a lot. Very sweet. And the one from Legends was, was really nice. Now, these figures were really neat, and you get this perfect understanding of how they, how the character works, and, you know, how maneuver, maneuver all everything is. Now, they have it where you can trade up the hands, where they have fists, they have like pointy, um, she has like a pointing fingers, he has fists, and in his fist there's a, a little slot for, let's see if you, I can, you don't see it, see there's a little slot in his hand, and that slot is what, um, you can stick an energy canister in. Now sadly the energy canister, I need to do something to keep it in there because it sticks it, the little slot thing that you put into the energy canister does not um, stick into the energy canister as well as it sticks into his hand. And so you end up, you'll, you'll, I kind of saw that, like, oh, I'm going to lose that if I don't fix it. So I still haven't fixed it, but I haven't lost it either. Um, now, overall, these are really neat characters. These are really neat things, and it, I would say if you want them, if you're a Mega Man fan, original series, you get these. If you like the Mega Man Zero series, you can get the Mega Man Zero One. The only thing is that these things are 
It's just that if you get a bad one, you have um, you might get a sheet that has the wrong chemical composite. So when it when you start messing with it, it snaps and you just wasted about forty dollars. So it's not it, it has its ups and downs. Now those I know plenty of people who are you know you, you gotta like it and I, I would say these model kits are worth it because yes. You're, you're still, you know, yeah, you're building your own thing, but, and, you know, you, it's not assembled, and honestly, the thrifty side of me says this, why is it so expensive? <laughs> honestly, it's the quality and all that, and there are some parts that are pre-painted. Um, the articulation is remarkable, um, there's like two joints in his neck, um, you know, it's a hip joint, and the way his legs put are put in there, which this is what bothers me though, is that there, it's kind of a swivel hip, and then there's these little pieces you just kind of, this little piece, like, his entire leg stuff is built on this really small part that I kept worrying when I was putting it together, it's got snap and that screw. And that's the truth, is that, the downside of these things is that, the part that, you know, his, his hips, that his hips are plugged into, is so small, you know, that if you snap it, the entire figure is basically you're screwed. You have to figure out how to get it back, and, you know, that's next to impossible. I, I don't know any way of getting around it. And Rolla has a similar um, build, but, you know, they were, com they were completely different. Now, these... I think the even the um, Proto Man one, I haven't gotten it, but from from the looks of it, it's even enough different. It might have most of the same parts here, but like maybe the legs and the arms are about the same, but the gun is, I think, pretty different. And of course, there's a shield, and there might be something in his torso that's completely different. Again, I've only seen, seen it, uh, pictures of it, I don't actually own it. Well, the biggest thing, I really like this roll one. It's just very cute and, you know, well-designed. And take a good look at her. She has nice green eyes and stuff. But seems to be something, um, Japan seems to always point, make a lot of characters green-eyed. Um, and, you know, they did that, the same thing with Mega Man X. I believe he's green-eyed as well. Um, I can check. Yep. Uh, as you can see, if, you can, if I can get in focus, yeah, you can see he has green eyes too, but just ba you can barely see it. And I don't know, I'm starting to have a, I kind of have a thing for green-eyed girls. I, I don't, I'm not willing to talk about where that came from. <laughs> but um, you know, they they did such a neat job on these figures. The only thing was is that. You know, if there is a bad batch of plastic made, it'll have like too many bubbles or something like that. And, you know, when it's cast, it's, or I guess it's cast, when, whenever it, the mold is made, then your figure gets, then you have that, that plastic sheet. If they don't catch it, you get a really bad one. And, you know, some people on the Zero Figure I heard, had it where it was their blue sheet, which that was most of the uh, most of zero. It was basically the blue black area. So it's a very unique. It's very unique that you can sit down and just work so hard on your favorite characters. And you know, roll roll has similar articulation. There's only one thing I would change, and I will see about doing that someday. And that is her skirt. Oh, you can actually see up there. I'm sorry. Uh -uh. Sorry, she needs to be a little more modest. I don't. <laughs> but um, the skirt right there—it's so—it's hard plastic. And to be quite honest, it limits her posability to a point where I mean, yeah, you you can't really have her do too much, but. Honestly, I mean, she has a, it limits her posability and makes it where you can't sit her down. I mean, that's the only really thing is she can't sit down. She basically, that's about as far as you can get her. You can 
might be able to get her to go a little bit more. But, again, she can't sit down. Um, which, that kind of sucks. And, of course, each one of these come with different ones. And this roll actually has a, you know, I'm using the Mega Man 8 version because that was my favorite version. It's one of the more interesting ones. I mean, she has boots and all that good stuff. I just wish that her little skirt here was actually cloth. That way you could basically sit her down. I mean, she could actually sit down because Mega Man sits down quite nicely. Um, he can sit. I'm sitting him on my way calm. I mean, that's it. She can't sit with them. So you have certain posabilities you can't do because of their lack of because of her dress. Now I actually painted the inside of Roll's dress on this, so I was just having a little fun with it and I decided that I wanted to make Roll make look a little bit more um, you know, I wanted to be more accurate and she has this weird little lace inside dress. So if I was to replace it what I need to do is I need to come up with the find a way to measure about how much the um, little piece in there that, that, that how much it actually meets where you know her, her body comes apart how much the dress actually takes up get a piece like that made make it make it into it and then somehow attach the dress to that but I'd want to actually attach two dresses the the little white frilly thing that I had to paint in here and then the overall red one and, but that's what I want to do. I haven't done it quite yet. Uh, but these are great things. In this, and I believe they're still on sale at the CampCon website. And when I... And, you know, and it's always nice to, you know, have really good toys of your favorite characters. And it's even better because you have a good understanding on what it goes in making them, and so you're, you take a lot better care of them just because it's just so that nice. So anyway, this is Nicholas Webb. I went a little longer than I was wanting to, but no, who cares. Um, I have, hope everyone enjoys um, the video, and if you have any, um, you, if you have anything you think I need to point out or do, um, just let me know. I'm, I'm not doing this for any particular reason other than I like talking. <laughs> so, alright everyone, catch you later.